Welcome everybody! I am Mallow, and this is Earthbound. In the last episode, we did actually quite a bit of things. We finally got our fourth party member, we got into a museum, we did something very interesting at the museum. Uh, what else did we do? And we bribed a museum curator, I could not remember the name there, with a banana peel, because, you know, kids, if you ever want to get into anywhere for free, just give them a banana peel. And in this episode, we're going to go into the only place more disgusting than Jeff, the sewer. Well, that ended well. The Deadly Mouse is actually exactly what it looks like. And that was actually really convenient. It's really just a much stronger version of the Rowdy Mouse. It's kind of cool, I guess. Nothing major. Just duh. And it can also do that. That's what I was waiting to show. What Another interesting thing that I should mention is it can also poison you, which is just lovely. And it does a crap ton of damage. If it can't get a smash attack. These enemies are very likely to get a smash attack. I'd honestly... Yeah. This is not... This is a... Mm, Jeff grew a level. Defense went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 5. Pooh, of course, grew levels. Offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 2. You are going to get quite a bit of levels. Okay, thanks. The Stinky Ghost! As you can probably imagine, this is a stronger version of the previous ghost from Mad and the The Smelly Ghost, I believe it was called, from 3. Thanks, guys. Real helpful. Yeah, he can do a ton of damage, especially if you're not prepared. Who is the hard one and the one that you want to keep alive? He's not uh, super easy to take down. He has a lot of defense for this point. He's almost requires you to use PSI, which I don't want to do, because I don't want to use a lot of PSI. Because this is a sanctuary dungeon, and the sanctuary boss is actually pretty tough if you don't have a lot of PSI. I think I'm going to have to use PSI. Thanks, Pooh, you're a real doll. I'm going to use Freeze Beta, because it doesn't necessarily- Oh my god! It doesn't necessarily warrant using Freeze Alpha. Thank you! Yeah, Poo, uh, Poo, Poo's the one you want to try to keep alive. Paula grew a level, offense went up by one, defense went up by one, speed went up by one, maximum issue went up by three, Poo obviously grew levels. Obviously, Poo's gonna keep growing levels, because, yeah, he's a new party. Please let this be what I think it is. <laughs> Hello, it's your dad. My dad is Jeff, the trash can. You've been out there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just think that's objectively pretty funny. Okay! Nice to see that Pooh gained a level, not a level, 1 HP from the last time we saw him. 111 HP. Pooh is actually, uh, actually, actually pretty tough to keep alive. Nets like around in the trash can. Is there going to be another burger? That's worse, actually, considering the area. We got a croissant. I'm just going to leave because I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, the enemies here aren't exactly the easy I'm gonna have to deal with them. Ugh. Pooh gained a level, because of course he did. Offense went up by 4, defense went up by 6, speed went up by 1, guts went up by 1, vitality went up by 1, luck went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 27! Brain Shock Alpha! I never really use Brain Shock, but that is a very good combination of abilities, I'm not gonna lie. Pooh, you need some healing. Get some life up in ya. And I think there's a room right here. I well, Duh, what gave it away, Nathan? Grease. Do you grease? What does that mean? Broken iron! Well, Jeff's kind of our garbage disposal at the moment. Uh, what do I not need? I can't drop the laser gun, I don't think. You shouldn't throw the laser gun. Yeah. Ness has a town map. That's not... Obviously, Ness has a town map. Uh... What do I want to get away? HP sucker! Eh, I want to keep that. Broken tube? I also want to keep that. Oh well. Actually, I should probably give the broken iron to Jeff. That would be helpful. Give to Jeff. The broken iron might be what I'm thinking it is, but at the same time, it might not be what I'm thinking it is. Basically, somewhere in here, there is an amazing, amazing item for Jeff that you, like, desperately want, if you can find it. But actually turns Jeff into an absolutely amazing party member. Okay, thanks. I actually don't like this dungeon because it's basically this. It's nothing really interesting or original, just a bunch of reskins. 
like the Filthy Attack Roach. Filthy Attack Roach is obviously a stronger version of the Attack Roach that we saw outside of Saturn Valley. It's pretty much just about as effective as the Attack Roach we saw outside of Saturn Valley. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that threatening. It can do quite a bit more damage, but... Yeah. Low HP, low defense. You can take it out pretty quick. I am surprised that Pooh did not get a level up from... Oop. Well, that's every single new enemy in the area, so that's a plus, right? Eh. Honestly, this area is decent for farming experience, but that's about it. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the dungeon. I like the aesthetic, though. Just crawling around in the sewers and slowly getting all of your clothes wet with sewer... Ugh. From the big city. Ugh. Sorry, the fact that he was just, like, repeatedly sprinting in place. Well, we can just leave Jeff and Pooh in there. I mean, it suits his name. <clears throat> I don't... <laughs> that was just a throat clear. Awesome. Thanks, me. I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna not go in there. <laughs> that was a bad idea! Let's see. What is in here? This might be what I'm thinking of. Let's see here. There's a broken spray can. That's not what I'm thinking of, and that is not worth it. Like... At all. Broken spray cans are kind of useful. You can die to a roach. Hey, remember that fun time when I said that we were gonna die to a roach? I was joking. Do we have anything? I don't know if we have anything. Thank God. Pooh, you saved us. Cup of life noodles. Honestly, Pooh is the hard one to keep alive here. Couple life noodles, Pooh is revived. Life up. Yeah, Paula, you genuinely need life up beta. As does Jeff. Pooh is probably fine. I just used healing beta, didn't I? Way to waste my PP, me. We don't have a lot of PP recovery items aside from the, some of the brain food lunches, but. Mm. And nice to see that I died for a stupid. 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 <laughs> like. What was it? A broken spray can that's completely worthless? Oh, awesome, thanks. Pooh gained a level, maximum HP went up by one, and that's it. Awesome, thanks, Pooh. We're living up to your name! Alright, I'm just gonna keep trucking through the sewers, because, you know, that's what every 13-year-old boy does. Just plow through those sewers and get attacked. Ness gained a level. This, Paul again to level IQ, luck, maximum HP, maximum PP. Uh, yeah, so Pooh died again, because of course he did. I don't need to use- actually, I do need to use healing, that's why I pulled that up to Jeff. Can I use healing beta to get rid of the ghost? I don't think I know. I don't think I can yet. I don't think we have anything that will revive Pooh. I do, like, legitimately think we are stuck here. Yep. We're stuck, all right. Well, Pooh, hope you have fun being dead and all that. Because, uh, yeah, we can't really do anything about, you know, the whole you and life thing. Jeff grew a level, offense, IQ, maximum HP. Pretty decent level up. Not great, but decent. If I'm not mistaken, which I typically am, there should be... Nope. <laughs> there should be nope. Lots of nope. I'm gonna crawl through the sewers again with Pooh dead and another ghost circling around us. This is a great sign. And right there, flanked by a attack mouse, is our boss. And I'm gonna fight this boss. You finally got here. This is the fifth, your sanctuary location. But it's mine. Take it from me. If you dare. The Plague Rat of Doom! Already looking... interesting. Alright, so I'm just gonna quickly... Ah, ah, ah! Quickly mention this. What the heck is going on? Uh, I think my analog... My, yeah, my stick is stuck, right? What? Okay, that was weird. The Plague Rat of Doom, to start off, is weak to... Stop! Is weak to Flash! PSI Flash... PSI Flash. Which is interesting. I 
just think that's a cool little tidbit. He does, he's one of the only bosses that is actually vulnerable to it, which makes it a very interesting boss. Felt a little strange, yeah. I mean, he does, it, it, stop! It doesn't work all the, what the heck is wrong with my controller? I'm gonna have to get that looked at after the episode, but for now, you can all just enjoy that. Which means, if you used Flash Beta, there's a chance of getting insta-killed, which is interesting. Is that a good idea? No. I'm gonna waste this brain food lunch. Paula, you can use Freeze Gamma on him. You have quite a few PP to spare. Jeff, what do you got? Uh... uh actually, you try... No. Ugh. I genuinely do not know what's going on with my controller, but whatever. Of course. This boss is actually kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. Nasty cover 53 PP, that's actually pretty good. Like, wow, okay, that, that ended well. Flash beta to that. Paula, I'm gonna have you use Freeze Gamma again because that worked out well. And then to Jeff, I'm gonna have you attempt to use the slime generator. I don't know if it works or not. Yeah, the, the, the ghost makes this actually pretty tough. Did not work. Yeah. Something sticky. Plague right Plag? Plag. That's a new one. I am going to use Flash, because I like using Flash, and it's an interesting ability, and I want to see if I can insta-kill this enemy. Yeah! Keep getting smash attacks, Paula. Did not work on the Plague Rite of Doom. Plague Rite of Doom. Plague to go bite. Yeah! <laughs> he poisoned himself. I don't know why that's funny to me. It just kind of is. I, I like it when bosses are confused. I never use it, but it's pretty fun. Uh, of course, Ness is our 20 damage attack. Yeah. He doesn't do a lot of damage unless, of course, he gets a smash attack, which he does very often. This is actually, yeah, this is a kind of tough boss depending on how you want to go about it. Because I'm an idiot, I decided to go about it this way. Fighting his fangs. Oh, no. <laughs> Immediately after Paula dies, I get it. Okay, that's great. Ness obviously gained a level. Offense, D uh, HP, PP. Paula gained a level. Lots of stuff. Great, great. Oh, wow, okay. That rock! That offense up Omega! Oh, gosh. Okay. Guts went up by three. IQ went up by three. Lock went up by three. Maximum HP went up by one. That was some fantastic level ups, guys. Up here... It's apparently the ladder to our uh, going back down. But up here... Is another sanctuary. If we go like this... We can do that, but if you are a skilled player, you can get that chest and just kind of leave this area, if you're not me. Don't be an idiot. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. 